Kia ora guys and welcome back to the channel. Now this week I've been shooting the Hawke's Bay AMP Agricultural and Pastoral Society show. It's all about farming and agriculture and pastoral stuff and <laughs> it's just a good annual event. We had some cracking weather, it's been beautiful. So today's the last day, been there most of the day shooting for work, using the company Canon 1DX kit, got plenty published in the paper. Now I'm off the clock, I thought I'd nip back to the office drop off the company gear, pick up my Leica Q2, head back to the showgrounds and shoot the fairground attractions that have been on all week. So my plan is to get some candid street photography style photographs. There's going to be a lot of colour obviously, got some lovely blue skies at the moment but there is some high altitude wispy white clouds knocking about and, I, and again I think uh, as, the, as the evening progresses I think those clouds may catch and uh, we might get some nice colour in the sky as well to, uh, to complement the colour in the fairground. So that's the plan, 28mm lens fixed on the Leica Q2 and then once I finish shooting we'll head back to the computer, edit the photographs, do a little bit of a debrief about what worked, what didn't work. <laughs> Hopefully we get more workers than non-workers. 10, I want 10 photographs that are something like. I'm going to be looking for emotion, connection, interactions, just something rather than people just stood there doing nothing. And then we'll try and get some movement in some of the fairground attractions. There's a lot of spinny, lifty, twirly things going on. So uh, we'll try and slow the shot speed down, get some movement in there, and uh, hopefully some people sharp enough in the frame that, uh, that makes it look quite nice. Is it gonna work? <laughs> of course it is, of course it is, I think. Enjoy the ride. Well that was a very productive little session. Spent maybe three hours there, walking round and round like you do, looking for things. I might say quite a few shots that I'm happy with, which are coming up now as a, as a full slideshow. And then after the full slideshow, I'll whittle them down to my favorite 10. I'll have a quick chat about why I picked the final selection and then make up your minds guys, see if you agree with me. And if, you, if you've got different picks to me, let me know why down in the comments. Cheers.
Now from the car park, I'm walking down towards the fairground, making my way through the crowds. The crowds had died off a little bit, uh, but they were going to build up later on in the evening, so I wasn't too concerned about that. But I saw this couple. In my head, it's mum and daughter. They're having a bit of a chat, and from a distance, it did look quite animated. As I got a little bit closer, I got the camera ready, took a couple of shots, and this one stood out to me. And it's, it's more the, the intense look on the daughter's face, you know, she's got an arm on a mum's shoulder. And mum seems to be stood there thinking, what, what, what have I done? What have I done wrong? Why me? Her daughter looks quite assertive in this shot. I just like the interaction between the two. Now, the one thing I do not like about this shot is the power lines that are running through the, through the shot and, and through the young girl's head, which is, you know, uh, there's not a lot you can do about that. I mean, it's, it is what it is. And unfortunately, on this occasion, it, it kind of spoils the photograph a little bit for me, but I do like the interaction. Uh, it looks quite intense. So uh, that's my shot number one. Now, this is the roundup ride, quite visual. I wanted to slow down the shot speed. I want to see plenty of motion in the flippy spinny thing, but I wanted some people in the foreground, preferably looking this way. The difficulty was every time the bloody thing lifted up, people in the queue would look towards the thing and not back towards my camera. On this occasion, Three people did, or oh, four people did actually. These three people in the bottom corner here, these two have got some nice light on them. This fella's still in shadow. But the one that really caught my eye was this young lady here. I'm not saying she looks worried. I'm not saying she looks concerned. There is a definite look and a bit of a gesture on her face. And this young fella here, he's looking down towards her. It's not a great connection, but it is a connection. And it just adds to the overall aesthetic of the photograph. I really do like this shot. Now, this is on the dodgems, obviously. I took quite a few photographs here, looking for characters, looking for emotion and some sort of intensity, and I've, and I've got that with this fella there. The young fella there, he's just taking the impact, so he's got a smile on his face, but you can see he's leaning into the impact. But this lad here, I mean, look at that. He's got the face on him, he's, you know, he's got the teeth out, he's got the grimace on his face, he's got the intensity, he's gripping the steering wheel, and he's really biting down on his hoodie's toggle. The only distracting part of it, for me personally, is this sign here. But uh, again, there's not a lot you can do about that. You're shooting in environments where things are going to get in the way and it, everything's happening so fast and you just haven't got time to, to recompose and to, to make the shot happen. The rest of this ride, I was watching these two young lads, especially the lad in the hoodie. He never had that lace in his mouth. He never had that intense look on his face again. So it's, it's just a moment that's caught and frozen forever. And I quite like that photograph. This spinning thing here, I really did want to get some motion in there, but I also wanted to get people in the photograph looking my way or, you know, so you could see people's faces. Unfortunately, the whole of the time this thing was spinning around, the whole of the time I was watching it, people were watching the thing with their backs to me. And then suddenly this lady here turned around towards me and instantly she got a big smile on her face, turned the mates round. I think we've caught some nice facials there, especially this chap here on the phone. He's got a bit of a bit of a look on his face. And I just generally like this photograph. It's not a candid moment, that is for sure. But I think the movement in the thing and the look on these guys' faces, I just think it makes a really nice photograph. And that's probably one of my uh, favorite shots of the day, actually. Now I'd got set up at this ride. There was a little bit of light illuminating people just as they were getting off the ride, but it was only a small amount of light. As people came a little bit further forward down the steps, the light had gone, casting everybody in shadows. And I really do like the way that the light has just caught this fella and he stands out from everything else. Everyone else is nicely in shade. We've got a little bit of a catch light in his eye there. The only slight distraction is this lad in the green here. I could crop the fella out. If I did crop the fella out, oh, actually, I may crop that out. Yeah, I may crop that out because I would have to crop it out down there as well, just to square up the photograph. So uh, either way, it's a potential crop or it's left as it is. It's got some nice little layers to that photograph. I quite like it. I'm looking around, getting photographs of people, knocking about, but this girl really stood out. And, and for a start, I absolutely love the light. Last remnants of color in the sky. You've got these two ladies here, quite nicely illuminated by the lights on the ride. You've got this girl here. She was the main target, doing what I do generally. She bites her nails. She's got a little bit of nerves on there, maybe. I like the look in her eyes. Now, I'd spot these two girls looking up at this ride. The girl on the right-hand side, she's drinking from some sort of lemon sort of i don't know what the hell it is some sort of drinks bottle whatever and then this lady just lifted up her finger stuck it to her lips there and it, to me it just kind of mirrors what the other lady's doing 
just a nice little juxtaposition. I don't I hate that word, juxtaposition, but there's a nice little theme going on there. Very, very last remnants of daylight in there. I think this was shot around about 2.8 or even maybe 1.7 because there wasn't much light left in the sky, as you can see. Uh, but I think it's I think it's worked out a really nice photograph. Now the initial thing that drew me to this photograph is this couple here. I just like the look on the faces. The fella's got his arm around his missus' waist, but unfortunately, when zoomed out, you can't really see that connection, to be fair. Uh, it gets lost in the shadows, but I still like the overall look of the photograph. You've got this fellow in the middle there looking quite intently at the ride. You've got these guys here falling out of focus, but you can still see a nice look on the faces. And the sky is absolutely stunning in this photograph. I just love it. You've got the total last rays of blue light. I just love the overall feel of this shot. The only downside, and I'm always picking downsides, Look at that flag, I mean, could it be any more perfectly placed growing out of Chap's head? No, I don't think it could. But, again, it is what it is. Now the next photograph, initially I'd spot this lady. She's got a big beaming smile on her face. She's got a son there, he was in the other shot as well on this young lady here. They were looking up at some family members who were on the ride, presumably. And then I spotted these two people in the background. They're totally out of focus, because I've shot this at 1.7. So it just throws the background completely out of focus. If these two people would have been looking straight face, I don't think it would have worked. And you've got a little bit of rim light in these people's hair, a little bit of rim light going on there. Just absolutely love this photograph. Now, at the same time, I've taken this shot as well. There's a much more intense look on the foreground lady's face, but unfortunately I've missed focus on that lady. And the focus has dropped on the background of this chap here and these two people here. Now, I absolutely love the look on these two people's faces. This is what I do all the time, every time. Lad away, he said something wrong. His missus is taking offence to it. She's got the face on. He's thinking, shit, I'm going to pay for this tonight. I know that feeling all too well. I just love the look on their faces. I love the look on these two people's faces. So I'm really conflicted as to which photograph I prefer. This shot or that shot. And, I'm, and I still, I really, really can't make up my mind. I like both photographs equally. I think this shot is possibly more balanced, but I think there's just more emotions going on in that photograph. So I don't know, I'm just conflicted about it. And uh, which, which do you prefer? All right, because honestly, either one of those I like. And then we come to the last shot of the day. Now, I absolutely love this photograph. I'm at the exit. They've got the big exit floodlights there shining back towards the crowd so I knew that there was going to be some half decent light as people walked towards me. I've got a few shots of different people but this family really did stand out to me. It's a little bit spaced out but what drew me initially was this young lady here. She's walking out of the fairground and she does not want to go home. She's having a good time. She wants it to continue. I love the way that a granddad, I think he's a granddad, he's got his head down as well and he's kind of thinking, I don't want to go home either, I'm having a good time. And then maybe the grandmother there, she's thinking exactly the same. Why have we got to go home? It's early, it's earlier. And then you've got the mum there, she's looking over at the kid, thinking, come on, mate, you've had a good time. You can't do everything at once. Come on, let's crack on. Go home, have a good sleep, and then, and then try, try again tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. But no, she's not having it. She's got the face on. And then you've got across the frame, You've got the dad, he spotted me, he's giving me the look and the young daughter there, she's kind of looking off into the distance. Everything about this photograph I love. In this bottom corner, you've got my shadow and you can just see my shoulders and my fat head and my other shoulder there and it just darkens that corner up a little bit. This was shot again at 1.7, I think it was ISO 3200 from memory. I've had to clean up the noise quite a bit in editing but uh, I mean look at that face. Oh. Brilliant, love it, absolutely love it. And that, guys, was my last shot of the evening. So they are my picks. I think there's 11 actually, so not 10, there's 11. And that's only because of the confliction between that shot and that shot. I'm not sure which one's gonna grow on me, which one's gonna be the winner. But the overall winner of the night, without a shadow of a doubt for me, is that one. I think it's a genuine moment. Anybody that's got kids has been there, they know that feeling. Anybody that has been a kid at one point in their life, they know that feeling as well. Uh, I just think it's a, a great generational photograph. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Ken regards to Paul. Don't want another day to waste. Don't want to feel like I'm all washed out in the rain. Spend it.
Wasted in sunshine, wasted another day with you Sunshine again, thriving alive with